What you guys got another video here for you Microsoft just quietly killed off the phone activation so here's what it means to you you'll notice on their website they still have all of the details on how to activate Windows and there's even instructions on here on how to activate it via the phone this means that there's going to be no more offline activation for any version of Windows they are forcing you to now make a Microsoft account and activate your version of Windows online. So that's what we're going to be discussing today in today's video, but I just want a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys, then check out the links in the video description. All you need to do is create an account on their website and then click on the Buy Now button on your product of choice. Then you can use my promo code, capital B, capital R 09 and apply that to your order and get a 30% discount on all of your purchases on CD key sales. Once you've got your key, head over to the activation center, hit change, paste in your key, click next, and you've just activated your version of Windows. So back to the video. Now, if we look inside System32, you're going to see all of the phone activation files that are used to activate uh, your version of Windows via the phone if there's an issue or if you're offline. Now, this uh, is also going to affect people from versions of Windows 7 all the way up to Windows 11. So every version from Windows 7 to Windows 11 will not work over the phone. So basically, it probably means at Windows XP as well. They're not going to work. So you're not going to be able to, like you used to, install uh, version, old versions of Windows inside uh, your virtual machine and activate them over the phone. It's not going to allow you to do that anymore. If you don't know what it used to look like, it used to look something like this, where you'd have a bunch of digits. You would give that to the operator and they would then activate it. It would normally be an automated message that you are talking to. But now, you, when you ring it, that toll-free number, it automatically redirects you to an online portal where you have to sign in to a Microsoft account and then you'll be able to activate it uh, that way you can't talk to anyone anymore over the phone now the online activation feature is decades old it really is it's been around for a very long time now the only problems i can see is when you get issues now you can still activate by putting in your key inside this box right here clicking next as long as you're connected to the internet it will activate the only time uh, that you're probably going to use the phone activation is if you are offline and if you are having issues with your activation, you will not be able to now just use the phone to activate Windows like you used to be able to. And if you change computer components that used to deactivate your version of Windows, you used to be able to call that automated phone number and it would automatically activate your version of Windows. All of that has gone away. Now what will happen, as like I said, you will get redirected. Uh, via the automated message if you ring that toll-free number and it will force you to sign into a Microsoft account and then you would have to go through and troubleshoot it via that method and activate your version of Windows that way if you're having issues. This is going to be a major headache for PC repair shops uh, because sometimes they have to call up those numbers to be able to fix uh, activation problems and if you're activating computers a lot uh, then obviously you're bound to have run into issues every now and again, and that can also be problematic. So who else is going to be impacted by this? Probably uh, governments, enterprises, also industrial control systems or industrial businesses, and even home users that are having issues who, who want to basically be offline and they don't want to connect to an account. You can see I'm in a local account here. If I was having issues, I would have to log in. Now, Tech Power Up uh, have basically done a full article on this as well. And there's also a video on there from some gentleman who's actually gone through and tried to activate over the phone and it didn't work. And he shows it in his video. I'm not going to go through all of that because obviously I know it's not working anymore. Now, Microsoft haven't made any sort of official announcement about this particular change. And as you see earlier, all of the documentation on how to activate your version of Windows over the phone or if you're offline is still up there and it's still misleading people. This is the problem. So why are Microsoft enforcing this now after all these years? Well, it probably is to do with trying to get you 
to sign into a Microsoft account. That's probably what it's all about. And they've basically blocked just about every way possible now to bypass uh, the uh, login with a local account. If you're on a Windows Pro Edition, you can still log in the domain way, and I don't think they'll ever be able to stop that. And the simple reason why is because it's for businesses and networks, and they're not going to be able to disable that feature. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below, what you think about this and whether it's a big deal or whether it's not a big deal, because let's face it, it's pretty old technology. It's probably not going to affect people as much unless you've got a computer that's offline and you want to activate it or if you have an issue with your key. And sometimes what does happen when you keep reformatting your system and reinstalling Windows Sometimes those keys do get deactivated and you do have problems reactivating them and you do have to call up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.